the date, the 5th of February, 1917. On this day, Mexico adopted its current constitution. In November 1876, Perfirio Diaz, a general in the Mexican army, seized control of Mexico through a coup, having previously failed in an attempt to lead a nationwide rebellion at the end of 1871. Diaz ruled Mexico for the next 35 years, his regime bringing stability after decades of intra-conflict and invasion by the French. Whilst stable, Diaz's rule was cronyistic and repressive. Under some pressure to transition Mexico back into democracy, Diaz, in 1908, publicly stated that he was ready to retire and allow democratic elections. Later, however, Diaz decided he would run in the 1910 presidential elections, gaining assurances from then US President William Taft of support. Taft agreed in order to support billions of dollars of United States business interests and assets in Mexico at the time. Diaz's opponent in the 1910 election was Francisco Madero, a wealthy landowner with political beliefs very similar to Diaz's. Garnering much early support, Madero was imprisoned by Diaz, later escaping to the United States. When the election was declared to have been overwhelmingly won by Diaz, Madero called for national revolt and the Mexican Revolution began. Federal troops suffered heavy losses and resulted in Diaz being forced to abdicate. Rather than seize power, Madero insisted on elections, which he won in 1911. Madero freed the press and allowed for labor to unionize and strike, but his lack of comprehensive reforms or the creation of a loyal power base undermined his regime. He faced armed and serious rebellions from Emiliano Zapata and Pancho Villa, as well as other revolutionaries. In February 1913, Victoriano Huerta, an army general, led a coup against Madero, who he had killed with his vice president, Jose Maria Pino Suarez, after their arrest. Huerta's regime almost immediately faced problems, with rebellions continuing throughout the country. Venustiano Carranza, the governor of Coahuila, rebelled, and he became the first chief of the Constitutionalist Army. Despite waging total war on the rebellions, Huerta was forced into exile, resigning the presidency on the 15th of July, 1914. Carranza looked to be a strong contender for the presidency, but after a meeting with fellow revolutionary leaders, Zapata and Villa, war broke out between the constitutionalists and the other revolutionaries. After the Battle of Salea, in early April 1915, Carranza emerged the strongest party and became president of Mexico in all but name, formally acquiring the title on the 1st of May, 1917. Between September 1916 and February 1917, the Constituent Congress in Querétaro formed the final draft of a new constitution. Carranza needed the constitution ratified quickly in order to consolidate his power and placate critics and rivals. The Constitution of Mexico was ratified on the 5th of February, 1917, and brought in, amongst other things, protection for workers, limitations on the Catholic Church, and free education for all. It also eliminated the vice presidency and granted greater executive power at the expense of the legislature. It remains the Constitution of Mexico to this day. Carranza was assassinated in 1920, Zapata in 1919, and Villa in 1923. Diaz died in exile in 1915 in France. Huerta died in 1916 in Fort Bliss in the United States, possibly from cirrhosis, although poisoning is also suspected. Everything becomes history. Until next time, goodbye.